My name is J.D. McCauley from Southbury, Connecticut Fire Department. I am part of the new truck committee for the department and we're here at Appleton doing a final inspection on our new puck pumper. Just to show a few items on the truck, we went with the Velocity Cab because we felt it was a, a good size for us. We liked the room in it, uh, but it also wasn't so big that uh, would be problematic because some of our territory and area can be quite cramped. Our uh, town and area is mixed. We have some light commercial, also residential. Uh, the bulk of the town geographically is not covered by hydrants, so we do make use of tankers and we also try to take as much water as we can on our pumpers. Uh, part of the buck design is these shelves that are accessible from outside the truck. This is great to keep medical gear in or officers or drivers equipment and gear. Looking through the back, that same compartment is also accessible from the inside. So things can be obtained from the rear by the firefighters before they get out of the truck. We also, as you'll see, went with the seat design that puts the four seats in the rear of the truck. The two outboard seats are fold up. They come up by themselves, they're spring loaded. And as you can see, it gives you plenty of room uh, for four firefighters and some gear inside the cab. Main reason we went with the puck besides the extra room and extra compartment are the cross lays. These cross lays, we have two inch and three quarter cross lays on the bottom, also a two and a half inch cross lay on the top. These cradles come out, the line can be packed and then the cradle put back in and put back into position and then just reconnected to the piping that's in the truck. So we can see on the puck design, all the hoses, be they intakes or discharges, are separate and aside from the hose panel, or the pump panel, excuse me. Here's the pump panel. So we're not any longer standing in front of either hard suction hose, intake hose, or discharge hose. This makes it much easier, gives the operator a clear area to operate from. We also, with this truck, this is our second truck that uh, has calves, and we have liked the cast very much. Uh, it's a fantastic system, and we just did some training on it today, and uh, we found this to be uh, an excellent, easily operated truck. One of the options that we put in this truck was we have the ability from in the cab, instead of putting the truck into pump gear, then coming out, starting the compressor, and then starting the foam system, we have a one button system in the cab that we can push one button and that starts a pump, compressor, and foam system all at the same time with the one button. Ease of operation. Engineer's compartment. Our compartment space is, for the most part, normal. This is, a, this is one folds and drops down. Large storage space with three tool, tool boards here. And then moving around to the rear, it's a little bit different than you might normally see. Uh, the other reason that we like the puck design is that there's space alongside of the tank to be able to store items. In this compartment here are our ground ladders. We have a 24 foot and a uh, roof ladder, accessible right from ground height. Also above, that's gonna be, we're gonna have pike pole and also folding ladder storage there. More pipe pole storage there. And then behind the two stainless steel doors on the top, hard suction, 10 foot length in each side. This design also with eight, about 850 gallons of water in it, it still gives us a hose bed that's enough to put a thousand feet of five inch large diameter supply line. The fold down step and also an interior compartment. And this we have here for spare air bottle storage. This is also a step as well as a, a bracket to hold the traffic advisor. Fold down steps to get up on top. 
More storage here, all adjustable shelves so we can position them in any, any way that we like. Again, adjustable shelf in this compartment. Standard air bottle storage here. Additional storage. This truck is able to give us so much storage space with this design and the 850 gallons of water and the five inch, a thousand feet of five inch hose. Here's the other side of the cross lay. As you can see, passenger side pump panel. And one of the things we did, we also have a second storage compartment here as the uh, driver's side is and we did do a put a big mounting plate on top of the uh, engine doghouse gives us the ability to mount any type of tools or equipment up there as well as the flat surfaces on top of the storage boxes and in the rear up at the top we had a shelf system put in up there our plan up there is to put hand lights and portable radios up on that shelf and power up there as well for that Mm -hmm. Same access here uh, from the outside to that compartment. Inside. One thing that we did do that we have not done on the other apparatus that we have, we moved the Q siren button up on top of the side of the engine covering. We found that too many people step on it by accident getting in and out of the truck especially new members that are not familiar with it and they don't even know that it's happening until it's way too late. So we had that moved up there just to avoid that. On the front, it's, it's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, we have the uh, main intake on the front bumper. We also had a compartment built here uh, to put soft suction is. We usually carry a length of uh, a six inch soft suction as well as uh, one length of inch and three quarter line there rolled. And then this is for our front bumper line. We normally carry 100 feet of inch and three quarter as a front bumper line uh, or trash line, and that's here. In the siren system, we have a uh, electronic siren, and we also added, which is something new to us, the newer howler type system uh, that's the lower frequency uh, that people seem to be having good luck with, and we decided to go with that as well. Certainly hope you've enjoyed the walk around. I have to say when we arrived yesterday for the first day, uh, we were extremely pleased with an awesome truck. And in the first two minutes, we found out it was much better than we even anticipated. So we're very happy so far and we're looking forward to getting it back to Connecticut and getting it in service.